So as you follow along to this routine, all our sticks that we use are color coded. And if you buy yours off of Amazon or Tamu or wherever you buy your tools, if you bought the same ones, they obviously don't come color coded. So I'm just gonna show you show you and explain which are which, just so that you know. So we don't use these first two because they're too big to use for anything. So you can just set those aside because in most of my videos, we don't use them. And so you're left with these. So in this order, you can look. And it basically goes in this order from biggest to smallest. Green, blue, white, yellow, pink, and black down to the smallest one. So for today's mushroom class, I'm using these colors. For paint color number one, I'm using the Deco Art Americana Buttermilk. For number two, I'm using the Deco Art Americana Light Avocado. For number three, I'm using Craft Smart Sage Green. Number four, Deco Art Americana Calypso Blue. Number five, Deco Art Americana Blue Raspberry. And for number six, Craft Smart Radiant Gold uh, Multi Surface. Okay, so we're gonna get started on the mushroom now. We're gonna take the big green stick with paint color one. And if you look closely, there's a little indent in the middle of your mushroom cap. You're gonna put the dot right on top of that little indent, like that. How, how far into the paint are you dipping? Um, oh, like this. Okay. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly, bigger end, with paint color four. So you're going to place one dot, and then you're going to look right across from it, and place a dot like that. What color number? Four. Which side? Bigger end. And then you're going to try and find the... And then you're going to try and find the middle of these two dots and put it to the side like that. And then one dot right across from that one. So you get these four dots like north, south, east, west. Okay, once you have these four dots, you're going to place one in between those gaps. So you end up with eight. And then you should be able to fit one more in the remaining gaps. <laughs> okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly bigger end with paint color three. And we're gonna put dots in between, but above the dots we just did. So like that. Three. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink stick with paint color 5, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put them, put the dots above but in between, except we're going to skip a gap like that. Okay, so we're going to do every other
Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly with paint color six. Which end? The bigger the top. Bigger end. Okay. And we're gonna walk the dots. So we're gonna take the bigger end and place one dot above the bigger dot like that. Then you'll switch to the smaller end and without re-dipping, you're gonna dot around halfway, re-dip, and then dot the other half. To make it easier, you can do this first dot all the way around like this, and then go back and do the smaller dots. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly again with paint color 2, and we're going to walk the dots again. So using the bigger end for this first dot, and then you're going to switch to the smaller end and walk the dots around. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly again with paint color one. And we're going to walk the dots one last time. So using the bigger end for this first dot, but then you're going to re-dip and walk the dots with the bigger end. You're not going to switch to the smaller end. Okay, next step, <clears throat> we're going to take the pink twirly smaller end with paint color four. <clears throat> Sorry, let's do bigger end of the pink twirly. So we're going to start here in between 
And you're gonna drag up and then start at the same spot and then drag the other way. Okay, what you wanna make sure is that they touch at the bottom, but you don't want them touching at the top over here. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly bigger end with paint color three, and we're just gonna place one dot right there. Yes, number three. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink stick with paint color five. And we're gonna put a dot right above the smaller ones we just made. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly bigger end with paint color six, and we're gonna walk the dots. So bigger end for this first dot, then you'll switch to the smaller end and walk the dots only around this top dot. Six, paint color six. Yes, you're gonna switch to the smaller end. Okay, next step, we're going to take the pink twirly again with paint color two, and we're going to walk the dots again. So using the bigger end for this first dot, and then you'll switch to the smaller end to walk the dots around.
Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly, bigger end with paint color one. And we're gonna walk the dots again, except we're not gonna switch to the smaller end. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the big blue stick with paint color five. And we're gonna go back to this middle dot and overlap it, but you still want to leave a sliver of the original color like that. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly with paint color six, and we're gonna walk the dots. So bigger end for this first dot. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what color you said. Six. Thank you. But you're not gonna switch to the smaller end. You're gonna continue with the big end. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly bigger end with paint color four. And you're gonna start here in between the first and the second dot of the walking the dots, and then drag down. <laughs>
Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly bigger end with paint color three. And you're gonna start down here and drag up and then do the other way. Next step, we're gonna take the pink stick with paint color one, and we're gonna put a dot right here. Okay, so we're gonna take a little break from the cap of the mushroom and we're gonna move on to the stem. So you can pick two colors from your color palette. So we're gonna be decorating the stem something like this, alternating colors, just rows of dots like that. Okay, so you're gonna take the black stick, the little black stick, with the color of your choice. And you're just gonna go around stem. And when you start doing your second row, don't put it right above the dot. We're putting it in between, but above. Does that make sense? Yes. And they're both the same size? Yes.
Okay, so we're almost done, but if you have already gotten to the very edge of the mushroom cap, then you're done because it's gonna be very hard to continue. But if you still have more room, we have a few more steps. So first, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly, <clears throat> bigger end with paint color six. And we're gonna start here and do another drag this way and then the other way. Okay, last step, we're gonna take the white twirly, bigger end with paint color one. You're gonna put one dot here. You're gonna put one right on top of it. Yes, yeah, same size. And then two on the side like that. So you get four like that. Big end. And now we're done. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the blue twirly bigger end with paint color five. And we're gonna overlap these dots right here, putting them right in the middle. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly, smaller end with paint color five, and we're gonna overlap these four, all facing towards the middle, like this.